Exciting. All right, come on up here. All right, tell us your name. Carissa. Carissa, why do you want to be baptized today? I haven't really been going down the right path that I should be, and I'm ready to change my life and those things in my life, and getting baptized is the start for it. Come on. Yeah. Your name? Caitlin. Caitlin, why do you want to be baptized today? Because I want to wash away my sins and live with God. All right. And your name? Haley. Haley, why do you want to be baptized? Um, because I want to wash away my sins and start a new life. Awesome. All right. Let's, let's pray. Is Naomi in here? Hey, come on. Can you come up here, Naomi? Sorry, just this is a spon- little spontaneous stuff here today. All right. Here we go. Let's pray. Lord, right now we thank you for, for Carissa. Just even her confession of faith that says, I'm ready for a new direction. And I pray right now, Lord God, that you honor. You honor those words. Lord, and that you take her by the power of your Holy Spirit. You take her in the direction that you have for her. Lord, I pray that, Holy Spirit, you would just begin to reveal yourself more and more to her. That you would show her what, where those turns need to come. And what are those new places that she needs to walk into, Lord God? That she would live fully for you. Lord, I pray, Lord God, that today would be a monument day for her. That today would be a day where she says, new life has sprung up in my life. And I'm not looking back. I pray right now today that there would be no looking back. No looking back. That the past is gone. And that the future, the, the present, that today is a new day in Christ Jesus. I pray, Lord God, that as she's baptized today, she would fully receive that. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. I pray right now for Caitlin. Lord, we just we pray right now for Caitlin, Lord, that you would come and you would honor her words and her commitment and her decision to follow you. Lord, I thank you for this precious life. Lord, I thank you for what it is that, that you've already done, that you've brought her to this place today. I thank you, Lord God, for her decision to follow you to put her life in your hands. And so, Lord God, I pray that, that you would watch over and protect her every, her every day, her coming in and her going out, Lord God. Would you have your hand upon her, Lord? And I pray for Haley right now, Lord God. I just thank you for her. I thank you, Lord God, for her decision that she would choose to live for you, that even at a young age, to recognize that I, I have sin in my life too and I need God's help. That's the only way we come to know You. The only way we come to the Father is through Christ. And so I thank You, Lord God, even for her confession of belief in Jesus today. That she would choose. That that I I just believe for these girls that the that just the, the path of, of pain and, and the path of just the, the hard decisions that we all make and the bad decisions we make, that those would be gone from them. And that these would be lies that would look back and say, I lived my life with Christ and I don't have horrible stories to tell because I had God with me and in me and I chose to live for Him. And so I pray, Lord God, over them. Set them apart, God, for You. In the name of Jesus. Thank You, Lord. All right, Krissa. Ready? Come on. Thank you, God. Chris, so we baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Time out for a second. Chris, can you come up here for a second? Chris, I hurt her neck this week. I just believe God's going to bring miraculous healing. 
in this moment. So can you just stretch your hands out, Lord God, we pray right now for a miracle in her neck. I pray that you would, whatever this pinched nerve is or muscle soreness, Lord, we pray right now in Jesus' name for a miracle in this body. Lord God, that you would even wash away pain. Lord, we ask right now you come and touch her, that you would loosen that thing right now in the name of Jesus. And I just believe that even that there was an, a, an attempt to stop her from coming to this day to make this declaration. And I pray, Lord God, that you would come and you would touch her body right now in the name of Jesus, by the power of Jesus Christ, who died not only for our sins, but he, he took upon the curse on the cross, and by his stripes we are healed. And so we pray, Lord God, that as she rises up spiritually with resurrection power today, that your resurrection power would come and would touch her body. Right now, in Jesus' name, we ask. Amen. Amen. All right, sorry, bonus. Bonus prayer today. All right, who's coming up next? Haley, are you up? Naomi, come on up here. Let's come over here. All right. So Haley, upon your profession of faith and your desire to be baptized, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Woo! Caitlin, you're up. All right, Caitlin. Just upon your decision for Christ Jesus, we now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. your name? Deandra. Deandra, what brings you up here today? Um, I want to take the next level and completely let him 100% do it all. Amen. <laughs> all right. My name is Chris and I'm getting baptized today because I want to live a life with our father. Amen. All right. So we're going to have, I'm going to, we're going to do a little different. We're going to have you get in. And then we're going to pray over you. It's warm, so you'll be okay. <laughs> Lord, I thank you for Chris and this decision today. And I, I just believe that this is a, this is a man who uh, doesn't make decisions lightly. That this decision was a committed decision. And so, Lord, Lord God, I pray that you'd honor that. This wasn't, I, I just have that sense in my heart, this wasn't a spur-of-the-moment thing. This is a, I just even believe that it took time to make this decision. But, Lord God, you have drawn him to yourself, and he is choosing you, Lord Jesus. And so, Lord God, I pray that you'd honor that today. I pray that the things in his life that he looks at and says, you know, I'm not real not real fond of that thing, Lord. I pray that you would just, by the power of your Holy Spirit, enable him and empower him to walk in your way, to walk by the Spirit and not by the flesh. Lord, we pray that there would just be an overwhelming sense of your power and presence in his life from today forward, that it would, he would never be the same. I pray right now, Holy Spirit, that you would come upon him and fill him and that, that he would even say, my goodness, I, I hear God. I see him leading me. I pray that you would open his eyes to see the things that you see. That his heart would be able to grasp the things of your heart in a new way. I pray that you give him insight and wisdom into others, that you would use him as a catalyst to set the captives free. I pray, Lord God, that this would be a man who by his life, that he would, there would be chains broken all around him. Because the power of God is what he walks in. Oh Lord, we dedicate this life to you. And Chris, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
Yonder, I know you've known the Lord for a long time. I just have that same sense today. This is not a light decision. Today is a no turning back day. No turning back. Lord, we thank you right now for DeAndra and this decision. Lord, I just see this. This is a no turning back day. I just declare that right now in the name of Jesus. This is a no turning back day. In fact, church, will you just shout that out with me? Because I wanted to hear it loud. This is a no turning back day. Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord God, that you would come and pour your freedom upon her life in a way that she's never felt. I pray that the grace of God, that she would, it would be so real to her. Lord God, in the things where she looks back and has regrets, Lord God, I pray that your grace would wipe those things out. Today is a clean slate that you have taken the whiteboard of her life and you said, look, it's ready to be written upon. I have wiped it away. And I just believe that that is a different day. That that even in in your past, there has been times where you've taken that, that dry erase marker and you've written the life. But today you're putting that marker in the hand of God and you say, you write the story of my life. There's a new story rising up today. There is a new story emerging. And we thank you for it. And we pray, Lord God, that today, that she would remember that today is a new day and that today is a time for a new story. In the name of Jesus. So, dear Hunter, we baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Hey, don't leave yet. Stay up here. Chris. Hey, you two. I want you to take hands. I, I, God just dropped this scripture in my heart for you. Psalm 1. You will not stand in the path of the sinner or sit in the seat of the scoffer, but your delight from this day forward will be in the Lord. You will meditate on his word. You will be like a tree, plant trees planted by rivers of living water and your leaves, hear this, your leaves will not wilt when the heat comes. You will bear your fruit for God Almighty. Thank you, Pastor Carolyn. Nathaniel. Hey, buddy. Why don't you come, can you step up to the top here so we can all see you? All right. Tell us your name. Nathaniel. Nathaniel, why do you want to be baptized today? Because I want to show everyone that I commit my sins to God. All right. And is he going to take care of those sins for you? Yes. Amen. Come on in. God, I praise you. I don't know what else to do. I thank you for Nathaniel's decision that he wants to be baptized today. I thank you for calling my kids, the ones you've blessed me with. But God, I ask you to bless Nathaniel as he's obedient to you today. Holy Spirit, fill him up. The power of sin and death is no longer upon him. So thank you, God. Nathaniel, you're awesome, and God's proud of you, and I'm proud of you, and yeah. Amen. So we baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let's stand together. If you, if you 